why do we need inheritance? This, this is the second video regarding inheritance. You can watch the previous video. In this one, we will start from a greenfield project, not pre-existing code. In the previous video, we had pre-existing code and we are not allowed to touch, but we need to extend and add more feature and features we want to use and in inheritance. Inheritance really help us. And in this case, I will start from a greenfield project. Okay. In this case, uh, let's have a class TV and this TV class has some member variables, right? And let's make them private. And each TV we know, let's say, let's say integer doesn't matter, price and string name. And also TV has some more stuff, right? Like resolution and maybe integer voltage. Okay, this is good. I will add more stuff up there for getters and setters. And but now let's have this one this much. And we would like to have uh, also another uh, thing. This is like a shopping uh, site. So I have class produce. We are selling everything from from produce, groceries to electronics and everything. So each produce also has some member variables, right? So think it is again. I need a price each uh, and string. I also have a name if it is tomato or pepper or whatever name, and also some more stuff uh, like unit. Is it is it per pound per kilogram or you know per piece and string type. So is it uh, hot pepper or some other type of tomato, whatever it is. Oops. There's a string, right? I know when you're watching this annoying, annoying. Okay, and we need also constructor for this one to have all these parameters. But if you look at, we might add more stuff here, price, name, setters and getters, all these things. But if you look at here, I am repeating this same stuff twice, price and name. For now, maybe we can have more stuff, but for now, price and name and related functionalities. So can I make a family of classes? Both of them, TV and produce, are product. So if I do is a test, is a test, it is passing. TV is a product, produce is a product. So I can create one base class and call product. And I can move everything like this price and name, everything to here. Okay, I don't want to duplicate them, but this time, it can be protected because within the family I can access so I can remove all these things price and name price and name but these are missing now right I will do this inheriting from publicly from product I will have all these member variable and these are becomes mine okay now I have with the is a relationship I am copying and pasting all those stuff here you may say, let's have things working. So let's have uh, here a, a constructor. Okay, product constructor, which will take two things, price and name. And um, uh, I'm going to do this, just copy to speed up the process, uh, not to keep you bored. Integer to the string and price. What I'm going to do is I will just copy and paste again. Instead of this, I will say this price equal to price. Okay. And this arrow name equal to name. So my constructor is ready. This is public, has to be public, otherwise I cannot access. So I need a constructor for this one as well, right? Public. And this is my constructor which will take all these parameters on top of this, okay? I will add these two first, and I will add resolution. Let me copy this one. Resolution, and I need voltage. So here it is. Um, in order to set base classes things, because it is protected, I can use, directly I can access all of them. Why is it giving me a default? Constructor exists. Okay, default constructor it needs for this one. 
I would just have a dummy default constructor. But uh, okay, I understand the problem. Sorry, this is I I don't need this one. I need to set all the base classes parameters calling base classes constructor like this. So I will pass price and name to this one. So that should fix my problem because I don't need default constructor for none of them. But I didn't set my part again. I'm going to a little bit too fast. So this and resolution is equal to this resolution I'm going to get. Okay. And this voltage is equal to voltage. So my constructor is everything is ready. It's giving me some warning. Okay, no worries. So I will be doing the same thing for product. So let me copy this code for now to make this faster. Hopefully it will work. So here is the produce. And then I need unit and type. Both of them are string. This is unit. And this should be also type. So we pass to the base class. Only we need to have this unit here unit and type to type so everything is ready so I don't look at this one I don't call duplicate this code this part is here so that could be that there will be a lot of there could be a lot of stuff there so here I'm going to create create uh, pr produce uh, for example tomato tomato and I'm not expert on tomato, but let's say the price is $2 per pound. Name is tomato and unit is pound and type is sweet. I don't know. So this is my tomato. I can create a TV here. TV and it is again asking price say two hundred dollar and it is lg and what do we have more resolution 4k okay and we have voltage which is integer so i cannot have this one 115 volt so this is not happy with this one tv price name resolution and voltage so but this is okay of, of course type is tv and let's say this is lg okay so i have these things all of them and i can call i don't have anything to print and for now no functionality so it doesn't exist anything doesn't nothing exists in here but i would like to have here one function void print info okay so everybody will be responsible printing their information so i will just say see out this one the price is price okay it's going to print the price and that line here and let's have here one thing and backslash tab so it will go a little bit further so here i will have name going to print name here so this is my one uh, public function and I'm going to have the same public function but this time this guy will print it as resolution only so and voltage of course it's on member variable okay so resolution and voltage so it's, it's printing on only it is stuff I know something is missing in here I will be adding up those stuff in a second so this will print only unit this one and type okay now here type here it is in it but when I run when I come here tomato for example dot print info let's see what will happen and let me do this lg dot uh, print info and let's run this code now at least see something at the screen so when I run this it is building up 
Okay, just come. It just pinned the, you know, this is the first one. You need type pound CV, then the resolution comes, but tomato and, uh, you know, this price doesn't come up because these are belongs to base class. So it's calling it as more specific one, drive class. So I can call from drive class to base classes function. So with just, I will say product and column, column, and then print info. This will call base classes function for me. Of course, I need to do this for, uh, for produce as well. Just I'm going to copy and paste this one. And when I run this now, it will call, it's coming up, hopefully. Yes, in the another screen. So tomato came here and TV come here. Of course, the order is not good. I should have put this one down here. So firstly, but the name should be better, right? Why do I have price? Okay, actually that's not the problem. The place, the name has the problem. Name should be up here. So I can have better things like name first, if it's TV, and then the rest should come. So this is much better. Tomato price is $2 per pound. And see, this is LG and 4K, and this is the voltage, and this is the price. So what we have done is we, we removed the duplication, code duplication from these things. Otherwise, if I, if I don't have the product class, I will be repeating all these functions. Of course, this is a simple example, but there could be more. So we remove the code duplication. Thank you for watching.